run things, they are the people who, who have the most direct access to rubber stamps, uh, they still form the minority on the board. The majority of the board is the representatives. So any motions that the executive brings to the board can technically be voted down by the representatives if it is not, it does not um, directly uh, benefit, if they feel it does not directly benefit their constituents. So that is a kind of body that keeps them in check. So I was the science representative to the board for the year that's about to end. All right, like and uh, how does this experience and perhaps other experience help you to be an, an effective servant for the students at SFU? Oh, um, it's actually been a tremendous learning experience. Uh, I think that I am a lot more effective on the board than I was when I started. Um, it's, a, it's a skill, it's a really marketable skill to be able to take all the thoughts that you have in your head and compress them into three sentences, wait for 20 minutes until the, uh, you know, they call you up and say those three sentences in an effective manner. I'm still fairly wordy when I'm outside of that framework. Uh, so I think I've kind of gotten better at getting myself heard. That was the first thing. Second thing, which is a really big boon to members of the board, I have seen the auditor's report, which is, um, is something that only the members of the board can see. And the auditor's report is a tremendously good tool because what it essentially says is that these are the financial policies that you can do better at so that you could be more accountable to your membership. Um, and that I think has prepared me quite a lot to what I think I should be doing as a treasurer. Um, at the same time, I think I've gotten a good idea of how the board works and what can and cannot be done in it. Uh, and the possible mistakes in direction that I could take. All right, and my next question is um, where you stand on the CFS. Uh, I don't know if your shirt explains a little bit. Well, it explains a little bit. It actually says, uh, K things buy to CFS. Uh, <laughs> I was wondering what that was. <laughs> yeah, I made it uh, on the weekend. <laughs> I, def I'm, I stand against the CFS. Um, for many reasons, it, there's, there's I really don't even know where to start, but I, I will tell you a reason that I that I uh, gave to people when, like, during the debate, which is back when we had our we have a wiener event, so um, we gave people free hot dogs and say, "Yay, defed! Here's your SFSS, Here's what we offer." That sort of thing. Uh, the next day, like both supporters and opposition came and they wrote to the peak and they came to us and they said you know twelve thousand uh, sorry twelve hundred dollars you know to spend spent on hot dogs you know that's that's you know that's bad or that's good the fact that they were able to do that speaks that we are financially accountable to our membership they're immediately financially accountable to our membership as in if you go to the office you can see how much everything costs at the same time we have people here from Ontario, flown definitely on our buck. We have posters printed on our buck about the CFS, glossy, non-recyclable posters. And it's not just, I, I don't know how much it costs, I don't even know who to ask. And that is one of the things that, that really makes me cautious about having any dealings with them. I, I can't get a straight answer um, to whomever I talk. I get. I get a lot of sloganizings like let's work together, let's be united, but aside from that any real questions are either not welcome or they're, they're kind of being shirked. And do you know of any candidates who are obviously pro-CFS so far? Uh, well, I know my opposition is pro-CFS, mm -hmm. Robin. Uh, Stoddell, she, she doesn't keep it a secret. Um, there are good reasons to be pro CFS, um, in a sense that, as, as on paper, this sort of an organization seems like a good thing, right? It's uh, it unites students for a common cause and it lobbies the government, etc., um, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So on paper, it really looks good, uh, but 
like there's there's the multiple multitude of issues that surround it constantly uh, is what makes it look bad. Definitely, mm -hmm. as a student activist, I would support CFS as an idea, mm -hmm. just not in practice. Um, all right. And any other examples of things that that bothered you, but that may be connected to the CFS? Before I move on to my last question. Oh, God, where do I even start? Uh, well, the CFS has a very um, they have a kind of a twofold method of dealing with dissent. So SFSS has been a, a non-safe school for a while. Uh, we have been critical about the way they do things um, on meetings and um, we've kind of been the problematic school for a while. And there's really two ways in which they deal with that dissent. One is well, I know we have their differences, but you really should suck them up and, and uh, bite the bullet for the sake of unity. Um, they, they, they did all the time. Now, why don't you want to work with us? Why do you hate the student movement? Uh, to kind of make us feel guilty, like we're really ruining a lot of things by being critical of the big organization. The second one, which is the dark side of, of their dealing with dissent, is they're extremely litigious. They, uh, they sue student unions for defederating. They stu sue student unions for um, having referendums. They manipulate the legal process to make it very difficult to defederate. They have changed the, the, the rules on us ever since we joined to make it difficult to defederate specifically for that purpose. Um, now, those tactics um, ring really true to me because I was born in the communist Russia. Uh, and that's like the moment, the moment I see that kind of oppression around me, I, I really want to get out. I just want them to go away. Um, mm -hmm. because and the courts have been, <clears throat> excuse me, the courts have been somewhere where politicians have been going lately, especially in our federal government. Um, it's, it's kind of, everyone's suing yeah. everyone, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the latest actually, um, of, of the, the CFS lawsuit thing is uh, Kwantlen Student Union, uh, actually Kwantlen Student Association, KSA, is also defederating at the same time. They were supposed to have their referendum tomorrow. Um, and CFS took them to court. They filed an injunction to uh, try and stop that referendum and have it in 2009. Notice, actually no, 2008 but fall. So notice that, that Kwantlen is a two-year school, so half the students there would be already gone by fall. They, they graduate. Um, so that would have severely crippled the referendum. Instead, the judge has postponed and they're actually having it in the beginning of April, which is, you know, exam period, but still better. Compromise. So um, that is the sort of thing that really pisses a lot of people off. <laughs> right.